Do the defendants, Braddock Abney and former Spartan 105 Edward Schaffer, have a clear deduction of the charges levied against them today? No, Your Honor. Excuse me? Please incur enlighten us on how these matters can be discussed any clearer. You have us in charge with Article 92, that you to obey direct orders as well as the commitment of war crime, specifically the killing of unarmed persons and subsequently 21 repeat offenses for both charges without evidence connecting us to those cases. Seems you understand your charges fairly well. Are you making a mockery of this proceeding? Quite the opposite, Your Honor. In fact, the both of us believe these charges are on the grounds for said mockery. <laughs> you are aware that three separate Kaidons of St. Helios have personally requested to execute the both of you themselves. Anyway then, do explain. Greetings, noble warrior. The pleasure is mine to accept your presence. I am Kaidan Kita Rama'i. And to what do we owe this instigation of acquaintanceship? The feeling is mutual, my friend. Shipmaster? Former shipmaster, I presume? Yes. I chose to retain the title and recognition of my previous, albeit blind, faith. Very honorable. I am Lieutenant Commander Edward Schaffer of the UNSC, and there's no need to worry, just performing a security sweep of this area. While I am not vexed with your purpose, I must ask the reasoning. These are neutral lands, and as you can see, we are already well established. 
Will my orders dictate that I maintain the peace in this stellar sector? And to do that, I must investigate places like this to make sure that hostility doesn't exist. Then your orders are fulfilled, because there is no hostility here. As you can see, we are not creating any friction in this region. Although very encouraging words, I must conduct what my orders constitute. And that means an investigation of your, what do your people call it, keep? I strongly object. These lands are sovereign, and it is my right as a celestial being as yourself to deny your ingress. Well, you see that is a problem. Because how am I supposed to report this to my senior officer? Being forcefully rejected entry is fairly hypocritical to my mission objective, don't you think? There is no force. I am peacefully denying your request into our keep. Report that to whomever you wish, but my word is final. Break it, and the consequences shall fall on you. This discussion is over. Kita. Unfortunately, your consequences fall on your people as well. Ryok. Gor. Takadam. Are you pleased with your consequences? Do not. 
not make a fool of me. This was your intention. Let's not forget your intention, shipmaster. Ah! Our orders were to maintain security for that stellar sector, and we took the measure necessary to establish said security. You wiped out an entire village of Sangheili. Not a military installation, but a peaceful village with women and children, the latter which being completely unarmed, while the former, subsequently the males, were armed only after your instigation. You think Oni has done any different? I don't see any of their agents on trial. Silence! I will not have you slander that organization by attempting to use it as a scapegoat. You two are solely responsible for the deaths of countless innocents. Are you blind? Their culture is fundamentally based on war. Their own homeworld is plagued from a civil war due to the lack of unity and an idea of self-righteous honor they receive upon said violence. We are allies of circumstance. How long do you expect this alliance to last? Honestly, you have the audacity to put us on trial when the species walks free, after nearly causing our extinction. No matter how you feel about our previous adversaries, that does not change the facts or your actions. Our actions? Our orders were to establish security, and we did. Our war crimes are based on the actions committed against other persons. A person is defined as a human being. And unfortunately, the Sangheili don't fall under the umbrella for that definition. We base our merits on humans. Sangheili are not humans. We are humans. Instead of targeting us as criminals, you should be embracing us as saviors. The society is weak, on the verge of collapse. To finish the fight now would not only guarantee our safety, but ensure human prosperity. Your radical xenophobia is at an end, both of you. You are a fool. Quiet. In accordance of all charges against you, I determine the verdict as guilty. And I'm ordering capital punishment to be placed on not only the both of you, but to all other senior officers from your previously owned fleet. With accordance of the charges, all other previous members of your fleet shall be indicted and serve 17 life sentences without the possibility of parole. The ships will also be generously donated to the Swords of St. Helios in an attempt to preserve the peace that not only the two of you, but your fleet have so carelessly put into peril. <laughs> well then, Your Honor. Checkmate.